Hi folks, it's James here. I have been out and about doing a bit of hunting yesterday and I'll be honest with you, I didn't find much. I found, the only thing I found yesterday was Thunderball. With a slip for a pound, not bad. So that's actually the first James Bond movie I've got on Blu-ray apart from the Daniel Craig ones. I think I've got Casino Royale and a uh, Quarant Missolus. Might have Skyfall too, I'm not quite sure. But uh, for, for a pound I took that. Uh, uh, I see, and, uh, that's the only thing I found. I went in loads of charity shops. You've probably seen from a little video the mixed hunting. But I didn't find anything else in there, so to that. I did go into one charity shop and the, I seen a bag and, they, and it was fully videos. And the, I was looking at it and it goes, the woman goes to me, if you want that, you can just take it. We don't sell them anymore. I was like, okay. So I took them and coincidentally, they were all James Bond ones. So I've got a whole bag of James Bond VHS here. I see. Oh, and Grease. So I'll show you what I got. What the world is not enough on VHS. Golden Eye. Grease, as you've seen. Doctor No. Tomorrow Never Dies. more and there's actually a whole bag through them but to be honest I'm not going to go through them all uh, with you can see there but the uh, question, only question is what I'm going to do with them oh well, uh, well no because I'm not I have got a video player but I'm not going to sit and watch them to be honest we wouldn't have got them on DVD I just felt it was a shame that they were going in the bucket shall we say uh, on there so I'm sure I'll find somewhere to put them for now uh, so yesterday I had like three or four small hunting clips there and I thought, oh, this I kind of keep doing this. I need to find some kind of editing software. So hopefully you'll have seen the edited together. And uh, I have got a couple of little bits of hunting footage just going up just now. But what I'm going to do is hopefully combine them into the start of this video. So you'll see, uh, hopefully, an edited one uh, on there. So I will show you. I went had a little bit of, shall we say, voluntary work today with my work. Helping a Punic garden. So I went into B&M's because I needed a pair of garden gloves. And I just happened to be in there, uh, getting the gloves, and they, set, they had a lot of DVDs reduced to a pound. Uh, there was only one I actually wanted, you'll see for the footage of the other ones. But, can't complain at that. Wonder Woman for a pound, took that. So there you go. Happy, happy with that. So I've done that. Uh, so I also went to the charity shop earlier on, and you've probably seen I picked up two or three bits and pieces. But the ones I've, ne I've never seen this before, so I'm happy with this. I, I say they were 25 p each, but I picked up the Dead Zone series one. Where's series one? This is series one. Series one, series two, and series three of the Dead Zone. I've never heard of this before, so interesting. Based on the characters from the story of the best selling book by Stephen King, The Dead Zone. Is a neat, unique and sick order for all that kinds of rich, rich mix of action. Uh, uh, the paranormal and uh, continuing as a quest for that justice. So, not too bad. So, happy to pick up with that. And I see they were 25p each. And it's four for a pound there. And they had a Paul Newman, Bruce Willis, Mel Melanie Griffiths movie that I've never seen before. It's called Nobody's Fool. So, hmm. You know what? This is in a different language on the back. It does say it's reading too. It does say it's audio is English. You'll need to play that one and just double check. See, there we go. Nobody's full. So I can't tell you much about that one because I don't know much about it. Uh, there, so that's fine. Uh, also, I did order some Blu-rays over the internet. Uh, through eBay, and they are ex rental ones, and they don't come with any cases. But I paid five ninety nine for them. But there was a couple of titles in there I felt were worth it, so uh, they actually arrived uh, today. So I'm just going to have a little look. I actually can't remember what order. I know, pretty sure I know one of them, but the rest I can't quite remember. So let's have a look and see what I got. Let's see. 
There we go. That's one of the fillers. I didn't, I didn't think. I don't know if I've got that one or not. Fast and Furious Seven. And this is the one I knew was there that I wanted, which was Fantastic Beasts. I have got this one already, but uh, there you go. It's just a filler. Warcraft. Chinese Zodiac with Jackie Chan. Never heard of that one. And Passengers. I really like Passengers. I think it was a good film. I really didn't know why it gets so much, shall we say, uh, heat on there. I thought it was a, I've got it on DVD, but as I say, I wanted to get Fantastic Beasts and, and I've got Passengers too. And the, uh, the Warcraft at the beginning and Chinese Zodiac. Uh, they're ones I've already got, but I want to get Fantastic Week Passengers, and uh, those are the two I wanted, so I bought those five. I paid five ninety nine for them. Maybe that wasn't such a good deal after all, but for, for just for Fantastic Weeks, I think so. So I got those, what got those ones, those ones there. There we go. Uh, actually, when I did buy the Wonder Woman one, I did get two. Because there was two of them there, so I took them one of them straight to CX and I traded it in. But before I did, I took the digital code out. So if anybody is wanting the digital code for Wonder Woman, here you go. Put that up for you. Hopefully, that's focusing decent enough for you to see. There you go. Uh, on there, so overall, tell you what, I'm tired after all that gardening today. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you'll see an edited version with my uh, hunting in here first. If you don't, they'll be separate, but uh, hopefully, I'll manage to do that and upload it first. So, that's great. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you guys later.